All right, I'm going to redo this video. It didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to. Uh, the reason we're here, the reason I wanted to do this video is because I wanted to explain base to ogive, whether you call it cartridge base or bullet base to ogive. Um, the way I, I now understand it to help, hopefully help other reloaders understand what what is the difference there what is the meaning what is the point of this because i have um i didn't understand it real well when i first started doing this way of reloading to me it was just like well what difference does it make well with all bullets obviously the and this is an extreme example but it's a very good bullet oh somebody it's a good bullet I haven't actually shot this yet. Um, I just got these not too long ago and I want to reload for them. But as you can see, it's very long. The front of the bullet where, where next, when it kind of steps down here, is very long. All right, compared to this one. And both these bullets, one is 129 grain and one is 130 grain. So they're essentially identical in weight you know, one grain of, of bullet, and I can guarantee I can find some in this that are closer to 129. These burgers are the 130 grains, and these are a hardy 129 grain interlock. Um, and I can guarantee I can find some of these that are closer to 130 grain. So like I said, to me, the, the bullet weight is essentially interchangeable. They're both meant to be hunting bullets. Uh, this is an interlock. It'll be a very good hunting bullet, I have no doubt, and it'll be a very good target bullet. Um, you can ring steel with this if you wanted to, and this will be a very good at both target and hunting. Of course, they're both meant to be directed towards hunting, but anybody knows you can use any bullet for hunting or for target pretty much. And, well, not any bullet, but most target or bullets could be used for hunting and most hunting bullets could be used for target so now one thing it's gonna be hard to show this because i need to show it at a bit of an angle here but as you can see the bullets are pretty much flat on the bottom and i will do an actual measurement they're nearly an eighth inch long difference so this 130 grain burger bullet is nearly an eighth inch long now, if a person were to load this to cartridge overall length, rather than cartridge base to ogive, you would come up with, you would push this way back further into the case, into the, into the, into the brass, than you would this. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna mess with brass, sorry. Uh, but anyway, here, I'll show you what I mean here. Okay, let's take this one, the actual length, just look at the numbers. I'm not gonna edit this video, so if you wanna remember it, you'll have to remember it. 1.1705, okay? That's the that's the full length of that bullet. And this one, the um, this is the burger, is 1.324, okay? So quite a bit longer bullet. Now, let's take a look at the ogive length. So where, this bullet fits inside of there and where it's gonna hit, you know, so so this is closer to the rifle, size of the rifling, is this opening here. And this one is meant for 26 or 260, this size bullet, 0.264. So when you put this in there, you've got, six point six. Eight five, okay. That's your bullet to bullet based ogive, right? And this one, now you'd think, well, this it's going to be really short too, right? It's only five thousandths less, six sixty three. That's a little over a sheet of a paper thickness. But yet, if you were to, like I said, seat these cartridge overall length but yet your gun like the certain ogive and you seated these the same 
this would be way short. You know, if you've been running this and you go to this and you see them to the same overall length, imagine that. It just isn't going to work. So if you're not already, I really recommend getting yourself a set of Hornady bullet comparators. That's this little, that's this little red thing, but this little red thing can be used for other things on different, on different comparators. And then you have these sleeves and you have multiples of them. Of them. There's, I've got all kinds of little tools in here, but here's the one for 243. This is the one for 6.5 and 260. I've got ones for 204 and 270 and 223, everything I reload for. And this gives you your bullet O-drive. Now, maybe on something like 204, it's not as critical, but when you're getting into long range shooting with something like a six, like my rifle, a 6.5 PRC, <clears throat> knowing this O-drive length really helps to get your seating depth just right. And I'm finding out just how critical seating depth is when you're reloading. So this might be a very good idea for you to give it a try. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, bye.